within the 250 calories. Uh, so before the, the lunch break, there was a problem. We we'll solve it together. Uh, it was a vertical curve, and I said that you might see a vertical curve problem. It could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon, and we need to be ready for that uh, just in case. And uh, the problem was related to this curve here, which is a sag vertical curve, which is shown here. And I said that um, sometimes uh, this was a problem 128. So these easy problems or this easy um, straightforward problems, we need to make sure that we guarantee this on the exam by practicing enough, like problem 128 is a good example for that. And I said that this is the general equation. If you'd like to memorize it, that's fine. If not, as long as you know how you can get this equation, this equation is given in my book, okay, and in other book available in the market also. This is the equation for the slope after you take the first derivative. In order to get the low and the high point, we equate the derivative to zero and solve for x. You see there are two, so the same equation we use it twice. One time we solve for the slope directly by plugging the value of g1 and r and x. And the x, by the way, always measured from where? x measured from the beginning of the vertical curve. Be careful because sometimes they can give you something that will start from the end. This is our reference. Here it is. This is our reference. All distances are measured from here. So x is 0 here and increase all the way until it hits the L at the end. This is L, which is the length of the vertical curve, which is measured horizontally. And this is another difference between vertical curves and horizontal curves. Horizontal circular curves are measured as far as length, measured along the curve or along the arc. But for vertical curve, they decided to use parabolic vertical curve. This is a parabola, not circular. This is a parabola. Number one. Number two, it is measured horizontally, it's not measured along the, and this is the general equation. Y at any distance x, so this is x measured from here, is equal y of the beginning of the vertical curve, which is this elevation here. Y, we use y for elevation. So the elevation, this is, y means elevation, by the way. We are using y to represent the elevation. And here it is, and we ended with this after applying the number, so the slope of a tangent. And, and the language sometimes a, a little bit, maybe uh, I don't like to use confusing, but we need to be careful or pay attention to the language. For the segment, okay, the tangent the slope at the station 14 plus 00, zero tangent slope. Because to find the slope to any curve, we draw a tangent to this curve at that point and find the slope of that tangent, this will give us this here. Make sense? Easy stuff, okay? Okay, so if you go to the PM, um, the, the, the problem that I was referring to before lunch, which is a problem number 503 of the NCWES. If you have NCWES book with you, that's good, okay? The blue book, I call it the blue book, okay? Because it's a blue, okay? Why they made it blue? That's a good question. So if you look to this, also we need to be ready for the afternoon construction PM. Obviously, this is talking about construction uh, for uh, those type of problems. And if we are asked about these type of problems, and again, most of you or all of you have a programmable calculators, and I don't, I'm not against any use of programmable calculators, but we need to make sure. First of all, and, and, and uh, I'll tell you why I, I mentioned this here. Uh, um, why I selected this problem, because uh, I need to make sure that um, that this book here, Okay. 
uh, obviously you are going to carry your own box the am and bm together but when we come to the bm the construction for example uh, you may be having my book am or maybe other books this is the am book this is a civil bridge reference manual the one i'm using the one that has this nice bridge um, but assuming that you are not carrying any am book with you so in this case what i found that um that um the horizontal and vertical curves okay let me go to one location uh, not here not here not here okay yes so so the 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 horizontal and vertical curves are not discussed in this book which is the textbook and this is why uh, probably i will take uh, i do have the chapters from other books uh, from transportation or from the am book i will be glad to send the 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 the, the, the uh, horizontal and vertical curves i can put them in in in, in about couple pages only and i will send it to you so you can put them in the summary of the, in the summary at the end here as i told you I have the three pages they are uh, blank i need you to make them part of this book here so at the end of the summary there are a few sheets and i will try to make it okay very concise and and and, and, and do it but uh, because horizontal uh, and vertical curves you might see them in the afternoon so just in case I, I know you are going to carry books with you they have the the vertical and horizontal curves but let's assume that you did not get them or you left them somewhere so we need to have this book to be self-contained and they probably probably another idea uh, probably I, I will I will do this I can add this to the third book because I still owe you a book which is uh, practice exams and solutions so I will say add horizontal and vertical curves this is okay to the construction third book let me let me work on this as hard as I can and get it to you as soon as possible and we can talk about it okay um, but you have to study it enough for the AM because the AM is a must so the AM you have you have you have yeah, but but also we need to be read. So for example, here the curve shown in this figure has a radius of 200. So this is R is equal to 200 feet, and a mid ordinate M of 12.8. This M, mid ordinate, the length of the curve is most nearly L. So this is a curve. This is a point of curvature or the beginning of the curve. BC also, BC, and this is end of the curve or point of tangency pt okay and as you know this is the center and this angle here we call it delta and this is m this distance from here to here it has a name by the way from here to here it has a name we call it e external distance external distance e okay but he's looking for the the length of the curve and the length of the curve is measured along the arc <coughs> from the beginning to the end so from here to here again i need you to understand the concept just in case this is an arc 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 it came from a circle and a circle let me draw a circle hopefully i can draw a nice circle there it is the circle has a center and oh for example like this and what they did they they took a portion we will take a portion from this this is a curve we're talking about here it is it is an arc length and this is the l and this is r i can write a very simple equation and this is called delta 
دلتا باي ذا وي وي كولت سنترال انجل سنترال انجل اي كان ميك ا بروبورشن بيتوين ذس ارك لينس ال اوفر ذا سيركمفرنس ويتش از 2 باي ار وي نو ا سيركمفرنس اوف ذا سيركل سيركمفرنس اوف ا سيركل This is as fat as delta, which is a central angle over 360. Because I know the whole complete circle angle is. So very simple relationship, proportion. The arc length with respect to the circumference of a circle as the central angle over 360, which is a complete. So from here, I can solve for L. So L is equal to pi r delta over 360. Or sometimes we write it that way. It is by r delta over 180, and this is l. Did I miss anything? Make sure that I didn't. Two by r okay. This is the equation. That it will give us the the length of the curve either you can use 2 by r delta over 360 or by r delta over 180 whatever is convenient for you again a simple relationship i got it from so in order to get l i need r and delta because by and 180 are available for me so R is given to be 200 feet. So the only equation missing here is delta, or the only part is missing delta. Delta the central angle. So I may get benefit from the m, which is the middle ordinate. Now let me ask you. And you may say, wait a second, I don't remember the M. M is the distance from here to here. Is this correct? How far from here to here? From here to here is R. From here to the point on the curve. This radius, this radius, any point. So this, so I will call this distance from here to here, I will call it Z. And I, I can I say that R or M, let me put it M directly, is equal R minus Z. Can I say that or not? Yes. From here, from the center of the circle to the circumference is R. But I need M. So if I subtract Z, will give me M. Make sense? Okay. This angle here is 90, by the way. And this angle here is delta over 2, and this is also delta over 2. So what is Z? If you look to this, Z over R is equal what? Is equal cosine delta over 2. So Z over R is equal cosine delta over 2. So I can say Z is equal R cosine delta over 2. I can plug it here. So M is equal R minus Z is R cosine delta over 2. I can factor R out. It is 1 minus cosine delta over 2. And this is the equation you'll find in my book and in all books. But for some reason, you couldn't find the equation. I need you to understand the logic. Because some questions are conception. This angle here, by the way, is 90. And this angle is 90. A tangent, because this, we call it back tangent. Back tangent. Back tangent always associated with the beginning of the curve. And this is called forward tangent. So if you open, for example, let me show you in my book, the 
7 a.m. book. We will cover this next week, by the way. The geometrics. We'll cover it this coming Saturday. The geometrics. You will find the equation here it is. What is m? One of the m is equal r and 1 minus cosine delta over 2. Here it is, the equation we just Okay, I know if the equation is handy, that's good news, but I'm saying that just in case, just in case. So, simple sine and cosine and tangent, it could help you and save time. You are not able to, you have the books, but you are not able to find the equation. And instead of flipping pages back and forth, I will, I will, I will try to do it, but do it here while you are studying. I'm not asking you to derive equations during the exam. No, no time. Time for the exam is uh, working like a crazy. Speed, speed of light. And speed of light and correctly. So right now, I know M and I know R. Can I get delta? Yeah, piece of cake. After getting delta, I plug it here, I will get L. Uh, are you following? I need you this logic. When you are reading a problem, any problem, logic. How to spell logic? L O G I C, something like that. Yeah the logic of the problem or the concept of the problem. So, M is given to be 12.8 and R is given to be 200 times one minus cosine delta over two. Can you tell me what's delta? I will give you 22 seconds. Your calculator must be, okay, very powerful and get what, what is delta. There it is. M is equal R times 1 minus cosine delta over 2. M is given to be 12.8. R is given. Both of them are given. Here it is. I'm looking for delta over 2 or delta. Whatever is convenient for you. Delta over 2 multiplied by 2 will give you delta. So what's delta? Your calculators, the two calculators you are going to take to the exam. Please try to use them every day at your workplace. Try to use them at two or three. I recommend three. <laughs> By the way, I received. Uh, I placed an order and they received calculators, the Casio FX uh, 115ES. Uh, I, I like this calculator, very simple. Uh, whatever uh, Casio HB uh, uh, TI, whatever it is. If you want me to send one with you with, with uh, this degree is many seconds, so piece of cake. We don't like to divide by six, divide by six. No, we need to how to convert that. I can show you that. Uh, solving quadratic formula also is very simple here. Okay, Casio, but if you are familiar, if you want me to send one for free, I'm not going to the gift. Okay, I can send it with when I send you the third book. Okay, send an email to me and I will be glad to, to include this. Okay, and I can go over this with you. Okay, in one day, degrees, minutes, seconds, and we need to master two or three calculators and you will be okay. I prefer three. Some engineers, they prefer only two. But whatever the brand, for example, I, I myself, I am, I am an HB guy. Always, all my life, I'm using HB. There's some engineers they hate HB. Uh, I don't enjoy too much TI. But some engineers they enjoy TI. So I, I don't. Okay, it's just whatever calculator, as far as long as it is approved by the calculator policy or according to the calculator policy. So what is delta? 41.22 degrees if you got this answer like our friend here that's good news take this delta and plug it here to get l so it is it is by r r is 200 and delta is 41.22 as given by uh, my friend muhammad here if he is right we'll get a good answer if he is wrong oh my god he will take us to lunch 10 times so it is by times 200 times 41.22 over 180. We're supposed to get one of these answers. 
hopefully and our friend online or some of you already got it from okay after getting the okay delta what is l what did you get for l l is equal here it is l is equal by r delta over 180 So if, if uh, the angle delta is correct, 41.22 enter, 180 divided, 200 times, uh, where is my pi here? Okay, and here is second pi times. I got 143.88, 148, I got the answer A.